Hello, in this video, we will introduce operator overloading in chapter 14. C++ allows you to define functions for operators. This is called operator overloading. Let's look at this example here for strings. We have these two strings, S1 and S2. You use this operator, the subscript operator, S1 bracket zero. So this is the operator, and this is the plus operator to concatenate two strings. This is less than operator to test if S1 is less than S2. Also, in the uh, vector class, you can use the subscript operator to get the elements at the specified index. So this is the uh, V bracket zero, that's to get the uh, first element in the vector. So all of this are operators. Operators are defined using functions. This subscript operator is actually equivalent to writing this dot operator brackets zero. This is plus is operator plus S1, S2. This is less than, it's operator less than S1, S2. So this is the uh, vector, it's V dot operator brackets zero. So you probably noticed that, that we're calling this S1 dot operator, but here we don't have S1 dot operator. Well, this operator brackets here is an instance function. Here, plus is not a, an instance function. It's just a normal function, standalone function. And we'll look at this um, when we get into the implementation. Now, so all these are defined. Let's see how we're gonna define it. We're gonna to look at the uh, example now. So let's start with this example for the rational numbers. So we're going to define a class to model rational numbers. In C++, we have the data type for integers for 14 point numbers, and we don't have a data type for the rational numbers. So we're gonna define this rational numbers. This are the rational numbers. You have this uh, numerator and denominator. So this is the uh, one over three, three over four, 10 over four, the rational numbers. A rational number cannot have a denominator zero. So you cannot have uh, one over zero. So you can have zero over one, that's one. Every integer is equivalent to a rational number is um, the denominator is one. Rational numbers are used in exact computation involving fractions. For example, one over three is if you use a floating point number, so it's not a precise, you're gonna have 0.333 all the way, repeating three, three. It's, there's no way you can precise represent it, but you have to use a rational one over three, that's precise. The rational numbers now has this numerator and denominator. So we, in the class, have this two data fields, numerator and denominator. So this is other constructors rational with no arguments. And this is um, to create a rational number with numerator zero and denominator one. So this is to create a rational number with specified numerator and denominator. So those are the um, functions, get numerator, get the denominator, add, subtract, multiply, divide, compare to all this here. Internally, we're going to store rational number in their lowest uh, terms. So here, 
1 over 3 is already the lowest term, but 2 over 6 is not. So what we do is to find their greatest common divisor and divide both. And so now you can get the lowest term is 1 over 3. So 4 over 12 is same as 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is the lowest term. So suppose now you have this UML diagram. So you have it now already, right? Let's write this uh, header file. So this is the header file. And we let's put this into the header file. It's rational edge, rational edge here. And this is the uh, get numerator. It's const. And this is the at, you're gonna add to this second number const and with this is right here. Uh, this is const uh, rational, rational here. So this is the uh, header file and we have this uh, static GCD. So this is to get the GCD and we're gonna use it internally. So now let's write the uh, test program to use it. Here's the test program. There's two rational numbers, R1, R2, numerator four, and denominator is two. So this is two, three for R2. So R1 dot two string. So this two string is to display a string representation of the number. So look at this two string right here. This is two string. Returns a string in the form numerator and denominator. Returns numerator if denominator is one. So this is two string. So here's two string. So four over two is two over one. So because the denominator is one, so you only display two. So here is two plus two over three. So this is two over three. So I'm gonna invoke this is r1 dot at r2. So you get the rational number. Now invoke two strings. So that is eight, three. So this is for subtract. This is for multiply. This is r1 dot multiply r2. This is for division of two rational numbers. This is to get the int value. So what is the int value of rational number two, R2? So this is R2. R2 is two over three. So that is, this is one, it's integer division of the uh, numerator by denominator. So the double is this, is the double value. Compared to, so the compared to, function is right here. The compare to is return an int value negative one, zero, or positive one to indicate whether this rational number is less than, equal to, or greater than the specified number. So this is the uh, compare equals to test if this two rational numbers are the same. So here, I want that equals I want, of course that's true. I want that is uh, R2, that's, that's false. They're not the same. So now you can write the implementation for the rational.cpp. So this is, we are going to get the greatest common divisor and that then we use this numerator divided by the common factor. So there's one thing we need to know here is this, uh, the sign. So we're gonna store always the denominator is gonna be positive. So the sign is goes to the numerator. So we need to have the sign here is, so we're gonna have this numerator times the sign of the denominator. So this sign is, if this 
denominator is greater than zero. So we are going to have this is one, else it's a negative one. So that's the sign is going to be here. <laughs> so this is GCD. We're going to implement this GCD. And this is get denominator. So this one here is, uh, is this is add. So we're going to return the rational number is numerator and denominator. So here's the formula for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of two relational numbers. And that's here. Now, we are going to now start to implement the operators. See, look, when you write this code to test program here, look here, you use r1 dot add r2. So the best way is just write r1 dot r1 plus r2. So we're going to implement this operator so that you can use it to just to like uh, you have two numbers add together rather than invoke this add function. So we're going to look at all these operators, implement them properly. That is all for this video to create the rational class. And we're going to refine it to define the uh, uh, operators for the functions in the upcoming videos. See you in the next video.